السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ايتيس نو ايتيس تو اوغست 15 ايفنينج ستاربكس اون ديسك روز لوكيشن state, county, or city, somewhere within the U.S., because we are Americans, we are not Californians, Texans, Santa Barbarans, but Americans. Okay, now, that's all said. I don't know why the federal government is not taking action. And I'll give you the answer. Because the federal government knows exactly the crimes against everyone and everything that has been committed by the state, actually by corporate America. The states are the one that doing the job for corporate America getting paid to commit the crimes against everything and everyone. Now the government has no say over it, okay, because the federal government is buried to their ears. They got no power. They don't own anything, okay. Cobra the America. Not Cobra the America, actually. Well, the Zionist International Terrorist Organization get a hold of everything and everyone. They own everything. And they've been doing this since the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. It is not a random thing, America and the terrorists and the Middle East and Britain, Great Britain. It is some that has been in the works since we've been on Earth, since Adam until the day judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Creator and decree to us oneness, oneness, creed. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Since the creation. Men, not by choice, <laughs> as or thought that they will declare war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Who did that? As-Sahayna. As-Sahayna. Al Yahud, Banu Israel, Qatalat al Anbiya, the killers of prophets and messengers, United States of America government knows exactly what is going on. They don't have the choice. They don't. Okay. So, the government, 
the United States government has to answer about these heinous crimes against the humanity that is committed everywhere in the globe and here within the United States of America in the streets cities counties states and all over the country victimizing the masses who continue to commit the crimes against them by keeping them in the status quo as accounts or rolling disposable accounts and allow these criminals to continue to fraud and commit the crimes against everyone. Bottom line. Bottom line. Okay. So again, the government has to answer and stop insulting our intelligence and telling us who did what and when. I have witness. <clears throat> Not only Muhammad Shaban, millions of people throughout history, history of this country, had brought it to the attention of the government, and the result was the retaliation, committing every crime, just every crime against them, their families, and everyone else, and then killed them. This is what's been happening in this country, assassination of criminal activities by the government to silence everyone and everything as is happening all over. We want you, Muhammad. We want you, Muhammad. We're working for La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We are not, and our deen is not for sale because it's not ours, it's deen of law. There is nothing is going to deter us from doing jihad. And you can translate it any way you want to us. The United States of America, the government committing heinous crimes against everyone and everything within their borders and outside, of course, of the borders, everywhere. It. Now, on a personal note, I want to know what happened to my wife and my son. Again, the FBI owes me. The Department of Injustice owes me. Explanation and disclose what happened to my wife and my son Jennifer and Mitz Shaban and Hamza Muhammad Shabbat. Um, I am really, I am, you know, I'm not running out of patience because La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But the government has has the obligation to answer. Where are they, and if they did, what happened to them, how they died. And I'm not, again, protesting against Qada Allah. But there is criminal and foul play by the federal government, by the FBI, against my family. And that started a long time ago. Okay. The government has to answer. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We ummati Muhammad. And we are here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa